Teams meetings. Outlook versus Teams. One of the things you have to figure out is how to invite external guests into a meeting. But what about hosting internal Teams meetings? And so when is Outlook versus scheduling it in Teams the right fit? Hi, I'm Nate from My Tech Partners. Welcome to an episode of My Tech Briefs. Today we're covering Teams meetings, Outlook versus Teams. We're going to cover Outlook meeting invites, changing the default settings in your Outlook to be able to turn on or off Teams meetings by default, as well as when scheduling in Teams is your only option, which most people don't know. But before we dig into the content, here is an honorable mention of our mug sponsor, You're On Mute. Because a meeting isn't really a meeting unless someone is on mute. Now let's get started with exploring Teams meetings, Outlook versus Teams. So let's start by navigating to the calendar section of your Outlook. Uh, there are two uh, primary ways that you can schedule this. They're both here in the upper uh, left-hand corner. Um, I like to uh, set my defaults to certain things, which I'll show you how to do. Uh, but one way is to say new Teams meeting, which is exactly what it suggests. It opens up a calendar invite and adds automatically adds the Microsoft Teams meeting link. Uh, so um, one of the things I like to note about uh, uh, Outlook and the idiosyncrasies of Outlook is that if I by chance want to not have this be a Teams meeting, I can't send it with the Teams meeting link and then change it afterwards because Outlook will remember that you originally created as a Teams meeting and it will remember the link even if you've deleted it and will allow people to join. So uh, I'm going to host this meeting. I'm going to do a test uh, Outlook uh, Teams meeting invitation. Um, of course, if I could spell invitation, there we go. Uh, I'm going to invite um, one of my colleagues and let's do it from 8 to 8.30 to 9.30 this, this morning. That'd be great. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, send. So now I've created an Outlook. And again, I could, I could invite internal or external team members. I just invited one person. Uh, but either way, you can do this via Outlook. Uh, I will show you how to host that meeting, but before I do that, I'm going to show you where you can change the default because I could select here, but uh, if you go to the file menu, again, I like to show that a couple times, go to the file menu, all the way down here to the options menu down here at the bottom, and that opens up the Outlook Options dialog box where you can choose the calendar tab here, and there is this little checkbox that says add online meetings to all meetings. Now I have that selected. I'm going to turn it off for the sake of this conversation and I'll illustrate the point why I like to do that. Um, and then one other thing I like to point out is that this button here, if you happen to have multiple uh, uh, video meeting options integrated into your environment, you would have a, a options to choose here. This is a radio button now, but if I had other options here, it would be a checkbox and I could choose which one I want to default. So I could choose to turn on the meeting by default and I could choose which option by default it would input into my meeting invite. So I'm going to hit OK. Again, I chose to turn the default off. So now the way my Outlook is set up is that if I hit new Teams meeting, it will do exactly what it says, which is create a new meeting invite with a Teams link. But if I just come up here and hit new, new meeting, it does not default to that setting. Uh, I can still add a Teams meeting to it if I'd like with one click, but this way, uh, with one click, I can choose uh, automatically to create a Teams meeting, or with one click, and choose to make a meeting without a Teams invite. So that's how I prefer my default settings to be uh, for that reason. So I'm going to go ahead and cl close that one out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to illustrate now that we've um, uh, shown you those ways, changing the defaults uh, and being able to create this via Outlook, is there's a nuance with where the Outlook meeting is hosted. So when you schedule a Teams meeting via Outlook, so I'm going to click on this and hit Join Teams meeting. It's going to pop up. I'm going to make sure audio is off for the sake of this uh, session here. And once it starts, I'm actually going to navigate to my Teams uh, chat here. And uh, I'm going to move, navigate the menu here. So you're going to see I'm going to, I'm going to chat uh, in this meeting. Uh, and uh, I've been doing a number of tests to test all this, so testing another <laughs> uh, Outlook invite chat. I'm going to hit that. So now what happens is notice that this is the meeting that I'm in. It shows that I can join here, but it the when I chat, the, it goes into my Teams chat. So whenever I'm hosting a 
uh, a meeting that I've sent from Outlook or a Teams meeting that I've sent from Outlook, it's basically hosting that meeting in chat, which is why you can have internal or external members of that meeting and why you have to admit members if they're external uh, to, to that meeting. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this, uh, this chat for the, or this uh, meeting for the sake of this conversation. Uh, but I wanted to illustrate that point is that when you host it from an Outlook meeting, it actually goes into chat. Uh, so now, how would you do this in Teams? So let's say you want to have a weekly team meeting. Uh, you can navigate to the team and the channel in which you'd like to meet. And you can come up here in the upper right hand corner with this little drop down next to meet and you can say schedule a meeting. So now it opens up a, a window similar uh, to what Outlook does. I mean, obviously it has a different look in Teams, but it basically gives you similar options of creating a meeting just like Outlook does, uh, adding a title. So I'll do testing uh, a department meeting in Teams, because that's oftentimes what happens is it's a, like a weekly or monthly department meeting or all hands meeting, something like that, where you want to host it inside of the a channel or a team instead of uh, in chat. Uh, so that, but if you notice, it defaults to the team and the channel that I've selected from which I created the meeting. Uh, you can also make it recurring if you'd like. I'm going to change this to, uh, say, uh, let's do 1 p.m. today, uh, make it to 2 p.m. today. Uh, if you also have in your environment, like where you can reserve a conference room or a training room or some other resources, this is where you can also add that to the calendar invite. Uh, the other thing is that I like to mention, as far as it says add required attendees, that seems really obvious, but there is some idiosyncrasies with regard to Teams that I want to point out here, is when you schedule a Teams meeting inside of a team like this, in a channel, uh, anyone who is a member of that team will be able to join. So be, that's the nature of what a team is, is. If you're a member of that team, you have access to everything within that team. Now the challenge is, if you want to make sure it gets on their calendar, uh, you want to add the attendees that you want. Use the distribution list or individually invite them um, to make sure that it gets on their calendar and they know the meeting exists. Again, just because they're part of the team, they will be able to join, but it doesn't necessarily mean it goes on their calendar unless you actually add them here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send for the sake of the conversation. And what's now happening is it's uh, not only does it post the meeting here in the channel right here, uh, but it also then is I'm going to go over to my calendar and I'm going to see that my t testing a department meeting in Teams just popped up here uh, and it also will show up in my Outlook. The reason why I also want to navigate to the calendar section of Teams is because this is the other place where you could schedule the meeting within Teams. Uh, by coming up in the upper uh, right-hand corner again, uh, you could hit uh, Schedule Meeting. Now, the only difference is navigating to the calendar versus navigating to the team and channel is that it doesn't default to the channel. Everything else is exactly the same and you get to choose the channel that you want here. So if you're already in the calendar, it might be faster and fewer clicks to, hey, say schedule meeting here, choose your channel that you'd like. But if you're already in the team that you want to meet in, maybe it's just faster to click there and it already defaults to the channel that you're in. So uh, otherwise everything is exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. But those are the two ways within, within the channel or within the team. Uh, the last thing that I want to illustrate relative uh, to this, and of course, uh, I'll, I'll actually just go ahead and join the meeting for the sake of illustrating joining both a, not only an Outlook scheduled invite, but also a team scheduled invite, is that uh, to show the illustration of it showing up in a channel. So again, it looks exactly the same. You wouldn't necessarily know any different. Uh, and when you look at the calendar, it looks exactly the same. When you look at the team's link in the calendar invite, it looks exactly the same. It's just where uh, where did the invite originate? If it originated from within Teams, you can schedule it in the channel. And if it originated in an Outlook, it's only going to be in the chat. And notice, because I joined this meeting, uh, I am now meeting inside of the channel in which I scheduled this meeting. And other folks can join if they're a member. So that is uh, really what I wanted to illustrate is that hosting, if you're scheduling it via Outlook, the meeting is hosted in chat. If you're scheduling it via Teams, the meeting is hosted in the respective team or channel. The last nuance that I think is really important relative to why you might choose one versus the other is that for those of you, especially if you're scheduling uh, trainings where you want to be able to record those for your team, if you're hosting a meeting like this right now inside of a team and you record it, the recording actually is saved to the channel in which you're hosting the meeting. If you record a training or a meeting uh, that happens via an Outlook invite, whomever starts the recording 
uh, the recording will be saved into that individual's OneDrive. So, and it would not give access to anybody else to be able to watch it. That person would then have to move that file or move that uh, video uh, to a place and grant permissions to folks to be able to watch it if that's necessary. So those are a couple of idiosyncrasies. Microsoft also changed the default, so those videos will expire unless you change that. Just a little uh, pr public service announcement. But I do like to illustrate the difference between why would you choose uh, Outlook for your meetings versus uh, Teams for your meetings. But basically, if you want to host a meeting inside of a channel like this, the only option is doing it inside of Teams. If you want to um, have you know an internal external meeting where you're not worried about any of those things, you know the Outlook invites just fine. It's not right or wrong. It's just the only way you can do it inside of a team is if you schedule it inside of, of uh, from Teams uh, to host the meeting in the channel. So all right, knowing the purpose of your meeting. Uh, really can inform where you want to host it and where you want to schedule it. So that's important, um, whether it's in a chat or a channel. Uh, now you can choose the method of scheduling that really fits your organizational need, purpose, and desire. Uh, and I hope this sets you up for success for scheduling meetings into the future. We hope this MyTech Brief on Teams Meetings, Outlook versus Teams, will help you use the right tool to schedule external versus internal meetings in Teams. And we hope this also helps you drive further adoption of utilization of Teams. If you enjoyed this MyTech Brief, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for future MyTech Brief sessions. And check out MyTech.com for everything else we do to make IT easy for our clients. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you soon. Until then, be productive and stay secure.